Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Native Mobile Bits. In last one of our video, we have learned about state management in Jetpack Compose. So we can store some value which can change over time in our application as a state. So till now, we was storing our state in our main composable. But today we will learn about how we can incorporate view model with our state management. So this is the video where we was learning about state. If you have missed this, you can check out this and the code is also available on my github you can check this state in jetpack compose repository and all this code you can find it here so today we will start with the same example which we have implemented recently in this example we are just having one text field and to hold this value of this text field we was using this text field state and we was just using normally one mutable state of and this was kind of a string so we was using this inside our main composable and today we will learn how we can use this state from our view model with the help of our view model right so as of now we are using this state as type of mutable state and we are using inside our composable now as we have our view model class we can just take this variable here text field state okay and we can make this of type mutable live data okay so mutable live data we can update whenever the value change and it will update to the observer whoever is observing this live data it will just update there okay and initial value we have added as empty string and here we can create one function also to update the value of this state so we can just take the same function text field value updated this one which we was using whenever any value was changing so we can just take this function okay and we can just add this text field value updated and this will come up with one value new value okay and it will be of a string type and inside this we can just take this text field state dot value and we can update with the new value this one okay so now we have one state variable here which is just a live data and then we are just having one function to update the value of this live data okay now we are ready to use this view model inside our activity and inside our composable and now inside our main screen we can remove this we can create one variable text field value this one and we can refer to our view model this variable but for that we need to add our reference to the view model so we can just create one parameter here view model of main view model type and we can initialize with the default value with this main view model constructor so we no need to pass from the activity on create we are just adding this as a default parameter okay and now we can take this reference view model dot text field state so we have the reference of this live data but we are not having this text field state now so now we have text field value but this is taking reference from this live data object right so this is kind of a live data right but we need a state so how we can convert our live data into a state right this is the question so we have one library coming out of android jetpack runtime from this so we can use that library to convert any live data into a state that's what the exact thing we need right now so we can just come to developers.android.com here and we can just take this runtime live data this one this 1.3.0 is in alpha so we can take some previous version and we can come to our project inside our project gradle we can just add runtime and then we can use the same compose version we can remove this this one okay and we can sync the project so now our project is synced we can come here so this live data we can observe as a state so we can use this function observe as a state this one all right so now we have one state here so now we have a reference to our state with the help of this observe as a state but the thing is it is returning as a empty string so we can add the starting value we can add one initial value here we have added empty string so now this is fine we have added the initial value string as empty so now there is no error here because this will return as a string either it will be a proper value or it will be an empty string okay now inside our text field value updated we can use the same function text field value updated this one 
and we can take this with the help of view model dot text field value updated and here we can pass the new value it okay so now our state is coming out of our view model and then if we are updating the state it is also getting updated with the help of our view model so now we have lift up our state inside our view model as we know that view model is always tightly coupled with the life cycle of activity or fragments so whenever we want to use the state we can take reference from our view model and then our composable will be independent we can just take reference from view model state itself and this is called lifting up the state to a view model and this is a very good practice which we can use in our application so that's it for the today's video guys i hope i shared something valuable with you today if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video